Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to actually graphically add um, a couple of vectors. And so <clears throat> we'll do it uh, manually. You can see down <clears throat> on the bottom here, I have a protractor. I have a ruler over here. So we're going to sketch these two vectors. And we're going to do part A here. We're going to add them. In another video, I'll, I'll subtract them. <clears throat> this is our essentially a uh, coordinate system. That's how uh, we'll be doing the vectors. Notice that counterclockwise is a positive variation in angle, while clockwise is a negative variation in angle. This would be minus 90 degrees here, for, instance, for example. So I've got two vectors. I've got 40 pounds at 37 degrees and 75 pounds at 145. So based on that, I have uh, one vector pointed like that and another vector pointed something like that, a little bit longer, pointed at 145 degrees. That's the rough idea, and we're going to add them together. And if you recall, adding them means placing them tip to tail. So on the first one, we'll place one like that, and then I have to place the tail of the second onto the tip of the first like that, tip to tail. And so our result should look something like, like that, uh, roughly. And so that's the, the general plan of attack. But to do this properly, we have to graph it. So to do that, we first have to draw the first vector. Oh, we have to set up a scale first. So let me set up a scale. And the scale I'm going to set up will be, um, let's say, one inch, or one centimeter, I should say, because that's what the ruler is. One centimeter equals... Uh, 10 pounds. That means for 40 pounds, which is vector A, that's going to be uh, 4 centimeters. And 75 pounds, which would be vector B, is going to be 7.5 centimeters. So now uh, let's uh, actually sketch that in here. We'll start, let's say we'll start about here, I guess. And uh, move that a little bit over. Right there, that's good. And uh, we're going to make the mark for the A vector. So I'm going to draw that dot right there, and it's at uh, 37 degrees. So that's right about there. Now, of course, graphing is uh, is not uh, as exact as analytical, but it can be fairly accurate if you're careful. And uh, we're going to set up a vector. So that's going to be four centimeters long. And so, of course, you can operate a ruler with greater coordination than I'm operating this ruler right here. And we have to draw a line that's four centimeters long. And I'm going to use a ruler myself, at least to draw that line there. So I'm starting here, and I've got to go for four centimeters. So that's going to take me all the way to there four centimeters. That's, and I'll just move this out of the way here for a minute, that's my vector A. Okay, um, <clears throat> 40 pounds at 37 degrees. So that was my 37 degree angle, and that's 40 pounds. Now, we to this we want to add B. B is going to be 75 pounds at 145 degrees. Now, the 145 degrees is not measured from this angle. The angle is always measured like this. There's zero on the right. Right here, there's zero right there. Uh, 90, 145 would be over here. So it's going to point in that direction. And in order to do this, we have to move the protractor so that it's on the very end of A because we're going to be tip to tail. And so I'll use red for that. There is the beginning of the B vector. That's the tail of the B vector. And it's going to be at 145 degrees, which would be right there. Notice this is 90, 100, 110. You have to go by the lower scale, 120, 130, 140, 145. Now I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'll take my ruler, and I now have to sketch a seven and a half centimeter line. That's approximately oriented. Yes, as I 
said it's a little trickier maneuvering this. Uh, so there it is. So so it's lined up. So now I have to draw this seven and a half centimeters long. That's going to start here and go all the way to seven and a half. And again, you can do better with pen and paper than this digital stuff, but um, let's move that out of the way. And so I've now added, notice that this is tip and tail. Remember, we can't add the vectors like this. That's wrong. You can't add them tip, tail, uh, tip to tip, and you can't add them like this. That's wrong, too. Okay. We have to place them like that. We're stacking them. Imagine if you were walking. You walked from here, and then you walked sort of northeast, and then you walked northwest to here. Well, your general direction of motion would have been, you started here, you ended there. So it would be pointing up and to the right. And so, in fact, we're going to draw that line right now. And uh, I'm going to draw it right like that. And always draw an arrowhead on the end because we have to know what direction the vector is going. So um, this was B. This is now A plus B. And uh, if you've been noticing, <clears throat> I've been writing a little line above the letters. In other words, the line above the letters, this indicates that the variable A is a vector, a straight line. When you ordinarily, it's written, you write the vectors in a textbook, you would see them in bold print, but you can't do that when you're writing, so you have to indicate the vector in another way. So um, that is now A plus B. So what do we do? How do we get the final answer? Well, we have to physically, we, a vector has a length and a magnitude. So A plus B has a length, a mag, which, you, which is basically a magnitude, and I'll abbreviate it like that, and it has a direction, which is going to be the angle. So we have two things to measure here. We have to, um, first thing we'll do is measure the length. And as soon as I orient this ruler properly, that's close, uh, I actually have to measure the length. So it starts down at the bottom there. And so I'll get the ruler right there. And it looks like <clears throat> it's also about mm, seven and a half units long. So the length is 7.5 centimeters, which also equals 75 pounds. That's close. We, yeah, I'm sure if we did this analytically, we might find it 72.8 or something like that. We could, we'll do that another time. But graphing isn't the most exacting science. So... Um, we'll now measure the angle. So we'll move the ruler away, and now we'll move our protractor there. Now notice, the protractor always stays horizontal. I, I, I don't tilt the protractor. And I'm gonna put it oops, right on the tail of the vector. So we need to measure it from the tail of the vector. And the angle is always measured from zero. So we're gonna measure this angle here. Okay, we are not going to measure this angle here. That's not what we're going to measure. In fact, let me erase that now. So uh, we're going to measure the angle I've marked in red. And as you can see, it looks like about, uh, if you look here, it's going to be about 115 degrees. So the answer is 75 pounds at 115 degrees. That would be the sum of A plus B.